this is white three two. We're Hotel Alpha Papa Bravo Romeo Hotel Tango Lima. There's a enemy armor recon team on route TP. Pick up uh, position about 300 meters north by location for engagement. Over. As United States involvement in Vietnam grew during the 60s, the helicopter emerged as a pivotal military force, moving beyond its transport, supply, and medical evacuation duties and into the realm of attack. When the U.S. military struggled to fill the growing demand for attack helicopters, modifications to Bell's Huey, a utility aircraft in every sense of the word, provided a worthy stopgap measure. Tasked with quickly developing an interim attack helicopter, Bell morphed the original Huey into a two-man battle machine and the Cobra was born. The Cobra has fought in every major U.S. military operation since Vietnam. Forty years later, it's still in service and remains a crucial force for the U.S. Marines and the militaries of many other nations. Able to carry a great variety of weapon systems, it's a tremendously versatile and lethal aircraft. Its primary mission is the close air support of friendly ground troops, providing great reassurance to Marines engaged in battle below. The task demands that the Cobra fly low over the ground in hostile territory, making it vulnerable to ground fire. The helicopter's resilience has been tested and proven time and again. It's capable of enduring enemy fire and still continue with its mission. The Marine Corps' latest model, the state-of-the-art AH-1Z Zulu Cobra, is fitted with Hellfire and Sidewinder missiles and K-77 firebombs for up to 76 70mm rockets and a 20mm cannon, truly earning its place among the world's deadliest aircraft.